In this video, we're going to look at postpone VATA counting and how it's going to work in zero. This relates to businesses in Great Britain who are importing goods from the EU or from the rest of the world from 1st of January 2021. It relates to goods that are valued at over £135 where customs have been advised that you want to use the postponed VAT accounting option. Let's head into zero and we'll talk about how this is going to work. We're on our Zero dashboard in Happy Housewares and from there we're going to choose our business name and we're going to head to the files section. And we have some purchase invoices, some bills saved here already. We're going to select the first one and we're going to say we want to add this to a new bill. Okay, so the first bill that we have is for 2020 and it's from, you can see, a supplier in Japan. So we're going to add the details. We're selecting the account code, which is cost of goods sold. And we're going to choose the tax rate, which is zero rated. And then we're going to choose approve. Following on from that, we're going to take a look at the VAT return. I only want to look at that one transaction, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit here. I'm just going to choose the date as one day, 31st of December, just so we can see what's happened on the VAT return. Okay, so just to recap, what we have here is we have a purchase, an import from Japan. So when we look at our VAT return, what do we have? Well, there's no VAT on that at this stage. So the only thing that appears in the VAT return is the purchase, which is the £200 total value of purchases. So on the old rules, what would then happen is it would go through customs and you would be billed separately for your customs duties and your VAT and that would then be input to your VAT return. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the invoice in the current year. So this time we have an import from Japan but it's in the current year so when the rules change. So we know that we'll be allowed to use postpone VAT accounting. So do we do anything different? Let's fill in the relevant details. And again, when we get to the VAT rate, we're going to choose the same as before. We're going to choose zero rated. There is our bill entered. So it's 2021, the same information as before. It's going to the same account and we choose the same tax rate and approve. So there's no surprise when we go to the VAT return and this time I want to choose the 4th of January because that's all I want to look at. And there's no surprise, it's exactly the same as before. So the only entry in the VAT return because there's no VAT at this stage is in box 7 for the value of the purchases at 180. And we know that if we go to transactions by tax rate we can see that invoice under our zero rated expenses. Okay, so what's different this time? We're in 2021. We know that we can use postponed VAT accounting even for imports from the rest of the world. So this import from Japan. So we don't have to pay the VAT up front to clear customs because we're using postponed VAT accounting. What we will have to do is we will have to log in and we'll have to get the information from our postponed VAT accounting account. That will be available after the end of the month. And then in zero, it's not been updated at this stage, this is early in January, there will be a PVA option where you will choose that on your VAT return and you will input the information. So because it's postponed VAT accounting, what is then going to happen is the information is going to go into box one because it's a sale in the UK, information is going to go into box four because you're going to reclaim that VAT and information we know is already in box seven for that transaction. Okay, let's now look at two transactions where we have an import from an EU country. We're going to choose the invoice. It's from a business in France and we're going to say, as before, add to a new bill. So let's take a look at that bill. It's from Colourful Designs in Paris, 
and this is one from last year when the old rules applied. So we would fill in our details in zero, select the date from last year, and when we get to the account code, it's cost of goods sold. Then when we get to the tax rate, we're going to click on the drop down and we're going to change that and we're going to select EC acquisitions 20%. There's no VAT on the invoice, so there's nothing appears on the VAT line here and we go to the green approve for this bill. And that was all that you had to do previously when you had a purchase known as an EC acquisition. Let's look at what would happen on the VAT return for that transaction. So select VAT return. And again, we're going to be sneaky because we only want to look at the transactions on the 31st of December. Create my VAT return and then let's look at what's happened. We know we had a transaction already from Japan, but let's look at the transaction from France. So in box two, we now have the VAT that would have been on that transaction. In box four, we have the same amount because we're reclaiming it. So it's an in and an out, cancelling each other out. And also in box seven, we have the value of that transaction. If we go to the breakdown, so transactions by VAT box, we can see under the EC acquisitions, we have the transaction. We can see under box four being reclaimed, we have the transaction. It's a colorful designs transaction. And we can also see when we go to box seven, the value of purchases, the transaction is there as well. And the final box in the VAT return where we see this transaction appearing is box nine, total value of acquisitions from EC member states. So that is using the reverse charge. That's what you would have done previously, prior to 1st of January 2021, when you were importing goods from an EC member state. Okay, we need to finish up with what has changed. So we select a 2021 invoice this time and we're adding it to a bill. So if we look on the screen, let's see what the information is on that bill. Again, it's from Colourful Designs, but this time it's in January 2021. So we need to follow the new rules because it's now classed as an import. So what do we do? Fill in the information. Now in real life, this invoice might be in euros, not in pounds, but we're just making it straightforward for this example. The account we're going to choose is cost of goods sold and the tax rate we're going to select is zero rated. So not zero rated EC, not what we would have chosen previously, EC acquisitions, but we're choosing zero rated expenses. So there's no VAT in the line here, which is what you would expect. There's no VAT on that bill and then we're going to approve the transaction. So at this stage, let's look at the impact on the VAT return from that transaction. And again, I'm being sneaky, you can do this. You can choose any date you want if you're just reviewing what's going to go into your VAT return. So I'm selecting the 4th of January and create. And if we recall from before, the only box that's got information included is box seven, the value of our purchases. If we go to transactions by tax rate, we can see the latest invoice. So we have two invoices in there. These transactions are both imports. We have an import from Japan and we have an import from France. So that's all that you need to do in zero at this stage. When you come to do your actual VAT return, so the first VAT returns that are due are up to the quarter end in the 31st of January 2021, and they won't be due for submission until the deadline, which is the 7th of March 2021. At this stage, which is very early in January, we don't have the option available, but if we go to the zero blog, we can see that the zero VAT return will be updated for postponed VAT accounting. You will have an option to choose for postponed VAT accounting, and then you will have the information that you will get online relating to these two transactions where you'll put the figures into your VAT return. Similar to what happened before, there is no money being paid over. It's a bit like the reverse charge. There will be an in and an out. The VAT will be shown as an output and it will be shown as an input. So it will be shown as a sale 
in the UK and as a purchase in the UK. So at this stage, I think it just gives you peace of mind what you need to do with your transactions. And also you know that Xero will have their act together by the time that you need to submit a VAT return following the new rules. I hope that you find the video useful. If you like it, please let me know that you like it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, please put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.